Good morning, friends. I hope uh, today finds you really, really well. It is Thursday morning and I'm vlogging yet again. Today, I am going to keep it really low key. Steven's back to work. I don't go back until Monday. Um, so just enjoying some quiet time at home. And um, today I'm gonna catch you up on things I'm thinking for 2020 about the channel. So there's some things that maybe you can um, be looking forward to and hear from you guys what you guys wanna see more of. If my vision aligns with what uh, you have in mind um, because this is all about us as a community. So um, looking forward to that. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna play it by ear and see where the day takes us. But right now, this is what's going on. I am getting the dents from the Christmas tree out. If you don't, I'm sure so many of you have heard this tip, but in case you haven't, if you ever have like a dent from like a Christmas tree stand or like where coffee tables or chairs were at, all you do is put ice cubes in the dents. The water absorbs into the fibers and they like fluff back up. And then once it dries, I just kind of like pick it apart with my finger and they look like new. Bubby is on the landing chilling. I'm about to watch, this is so old. She released a box set, um, she being Oprah, released a box set for her 20th anniversary and I'm watching some of those. Got the fire going and then got my Pendleton blanket nuzzled up. This is my corner of the couch and some coffee. All right, I'm gonna catch up with you after I watch some Oprah. This candle is still going, so I burnt it all New Year's Eve. I burnt it some of <laughs> New Year's Day, and I just lit it again this morning. It's just never ending. I feel like this last little bit is just gonna keep burning and burning and burning. There's nothing left. I don't understand it. It's literally on its last leg. We're gonna see how long it lasts, but I'm pretty impressed. So it is 10 o'clock and I'm going to go start the first actual official day of um, yoga with Adrian. It's like January kickoff. I'm super excited to do it. And a couple of you asked for me to like take you along the journey, like things I'm learning, um, like the impact I'm seeing from it. And I will give updates periodically as we go through this together. So many of you have also signed up as well or were already signed up, which is super cool. I don't know if I've been on focus at all this whole time. I am completely overwhelmed by the response of the three designs that I created on the Threadless shop. And uh, I think it's super cool that so many of you would want to purchase anything. I just want to be clear, I only control the designs, but I was able to look up some things to answer some of the questions. Um, yeah, read the sizing stuff. They do have a return policy. They do ship worldwide. Uh, yeah, there's like all the information is there. The only thing I literally do is create the art and submit it. Um, all the products that are available or what they make available, the colors or what they make available, I have no say in any of that. Um, I mean, even to get my three items, I purchased them myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just a way to like get something to you guys that you guys have so many of you have requested that I do something with some of the quotes. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I did that for you in 2020, um, but I have no control over it. It is all them. Uh, I literally control the design. And if we come across another funny quote in 2020, um, that we want to stick with, um, we, we can definitely create something for it. But this was just an easy, accessible way to give it all to you. But I'm so excited that you're excited. Um, I think that's super cool. And I never dreamt uh, that anyone would ever even remotely think of wearing anything that I've ever said before. I just think it's pretty rad. Um, yeah, today is going to shape up to be pretty low key. Uh, I have to think about what uh, to make for dinner tonight and probably run out and get some groceries for that because I'm sure I won't have what I need on hand. And other than that, we're going to go do some yoga. We're going to keep it light. We're going to keep it simple. And we're bringing in 2020 very, very low key. This is probably one of the most unflattering angles I've ever shot in. But you know what? It is what it is. So I am about to get started. 
this one came up to join me. Oh, look, he's already getting into yoga position. Oh, I'm ready, downward dog. Child's pose. He's going to do some yoga with me. But some of you have asked about my mat. And the one that I'm using is a cork mat, and it's by Body by Yoga. I seriously think I ordered it on Amazon. If I did, I will link it. Um, it's really nice. It's extra thick. And this one's really long, and I'm tall, so that's really, really helpful. Are you ready to do this, Bubby? He's as ready as he's ever going to be. This lighting is quite glamorous. Um, I just finished day one, and it was so good. It was so good. Um, yeah, I'm excited to kind of take you guys through this journey, not daily, but um, just maybe like a week update on how it is making me feel, both mentally and physically. I could tell you, I feel like I like released some things today. Um, Bubba's joined me. It was just like a really nice, quiet moment um, and really, really enjoyable. I thoroughly enjoyed every second of it. I've been thinking a lot around um, what I shared yesterday um, in a vlog, but I don't know when you're actually going to see this. I don't know if I'm going to edit it and upload it tonight or later. Um, but I was thinking I had shared with you, like, I've been much bigger than this. I've been way too thin. Um, and I was trying to, like, measure and reflect um, last night and this morning of, like, being too big and being too thin, I wasn't any happier in either situation. I think when I was bigger, I was just filling voids with food. And when I was thinner, I was just trying to fill voids with other things. Stepping into realizing you're human um, and it's not about filling the void, it's about acknowledging the void and the mistakes and the things you would do over again if you could and the things you said that you wish you hadn't and the things you've done which you regret. The reason we fill ourselves with other things is to avoid the feeling of letting people down, being a disappointment, making mistakes. I really think that's the root of it. I also think there's trauma pieces and all of that stuff involved with it too. However, I don't think being way too thin where people were worried about me and being way too big where people were worried about me, um, I wasn't happier in either of those situations. I think so many times we tie our happiness to like a physical attribute of our body and I don't think that's where it comes from. I think when you're truly happy, you've been able to accept, reflect on, learn, and um, move on and forgive yourself and forgive others. And I think I'm really good at forgiving others, but I'm terrible at forgiving myself, which I think goes for most people. You're going to make mistakes. And I think in those moments, and sometimes it takes years after those moments happen, you got to just know your mistakes or your missteps or the things that you wish you could change like those don't shape you it's truly how you respond after those moments and what you do um and I just think you want to do better and this is my year of just doing better I just I don't know I think you guys see snapshots of people's lives on social media and all those things um, but we all have struggles nothing is perfect whether someone presents something as solely perfect um it's not there are, there are lots of things, and I just think you have to know that um, you're not expected to be perfect either. You made lots and lots of mistakes and um, have dealt with pieces of trauma and things that I wish I would have never had to experience, but I think what you got to do is just know that... Um, there is a path to kind of moving on and it starts with forgiveness of yourself I think more than anything because I think 
that's the hardest forgiveness to give out. This was all cycling through my brain as I was thinking uh, last night. And then I think it really hit me as I was just doing yoga. I'm ready to make 2020 the year of like forgiving myself and doing better and being better and truly only focusing on making impacts of good. But just know that your happiness will never be tied to like your physical body. It is all about the work you do in forgiving others and forgiving yourselves and the ability to let it go. Elsa said it best. Let it go, let it go. Um, and I think we say it in jest or we say it um, to pacify a situation, but like truly letting go of things is one of the most challenging pieces um, of life. Work on releasing it and knowing that like the mistakes have happened, the missteps have happened, the misfortune has happened. Um, both ones that you have done and ones that have been done to you, they've happened. You cannot change it. Um, but what you can change is the way you move forward from it. And kind of releasing those will take time. Uh, and forgiving yourself will take time. But you cannot change it. It is what it is. And by releasing those is truly, truly when you stop trying to feed those voids and those feelings with other things. Every January, I venture off into a no spend month. So any product you see in January, I've not, I purchased in December. And then I spend most of January um, like purging and organizing and going through things. And I've done that a lot um, lately and it feels so good. But yeah, anything you see is probably something I bought in December. But uh, yeah. I I really like that time in January because it just allows you to take kind of restock and maybe it'll last a little bit longer. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Um, I don't put any expectations on myself. And yeah, I also think that like no spend month really helps you identify when you're just filling a void to fill a void. Um, and I feel like sometimes uh, some of my best personal and mental health work happens this month. Thoughtful reflections for day one with yoga with Adrian. I mean, if this is the path we're on, I'm gonna be a completely different Christopher by the end of January. Actually, I wouldn't be a different Christopher. It'd be the same Christopher, maybe just a little better. Alexa, play The Hard Way by Celine Dion. Here's The Hard Way by Celine Dion. I love that song so much. That is my anthem for 2020. If you were following me on Instagram, I actually shared out that that's my anthem. I am going to take Bubba's for a walk. I haven't told him yet because he's going to get very excited. I'm going to get my shoes on and everything so when he comes down, we're ready to go. I am wearing one of the sweatshirts. This is the French Terry, I believe, not the sponge one. It was like the first one that was selected. The sleeves are a really good length because I'm tall. Um, it says, uh, take in the center and then care of others um, at the bottom and care of yourself. I love it. I love the color. And then it's going to be muddy, so I have on my trusty Chelsea boot. It's going to be muddy because I thought of taking Bubby for a walk. But I don't know if he wants to go for a walk. Does Bubba want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? I'd love to take you on one. Do you want to go for a walk? Let's go. Let's go for a walk. All right, we're going to go for a walk. Smell a skunk. Do you remember that time that you and daddy got sprayed by a skunk on Labor Day weekend? You chased the skunky and then daddy got sprayed. Do you remember that? Do you? He is so happy right now. So happy. Let's get a treat after that good walk. Let's get a treat after that good walk. Not even a cookie. Let's get a fancy, fancy treat. For you deserve it. You're such a good boy. There you go. Also, our ice cubes should have melted by now. I mean, first of all, the ice cubes have melted and you can barely now see where the spots were. Um, but one was definitely here and then you just take your finger now and fluff up all those fibers. I hope all of you now are at home 
putting ice cubes on your carpet right now. I can't even find the other two. Like I really cannot find them. The straw on the hydro flask is like a total game changer. Um, I love it. Uh, and it's such a pretty color. Bubba's and I are back from our walk. It was so much fun. And I was in no hurry. And I feel like sometimes like I rush our walks together because like he wants to stop and sniff everything and pee on everything. And I think sometimes we lose our patience and we're like, come on, let's go. Um, but then I like just took a second and like he was so happy. And then I also started to think, which I think will change my perspective in a lot of ways, like this is like a big moment for his day. Um, and I wanted him to really enjoy it. And he came back and he's so happy and he had a treat. And now I'm thinking about um, dinner. I uh, thought I'd give you guys a little bit more clarity around my no spend month because I do want to be clear. There's a couple things that I give myself permission to buy um, and strictly tied to like joy. One is like coffee shops and green juices. I give myself permission to buy those uh, because I really enjoy them. I will always let myself buy a book because I believe it like helps fill me up because I love reading so much. And then I think like other things that I will let slide um, in a no spend month are like purchases that Steve and I have been planning to make. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that we've recently been shopping for furniture. We're looking for a couple different pieces, but in no rush to find anything. Um, we're looking for a coffee table for the living room and um, a desk for my office and I thought there was one other piece. Oh, and possibly a dining room set. We're not like convinced or need one, but like those are three purchases that we've been thinking about. I will leave space for those types of things. Um, things that we have planned to purchase, books because they make me so happy, and like coffee and green juices and fancy drinks because they also make me happy. Um, but right now I'm really happy with this hydro flask and water. Also trying out a new camera. I bought this camera last year. Um, well, not really last year, just a couple months ago, maybe November-ish. And have used it for a couple sit-down videos, but to vlog with it, I've been going back and forth. It's really hard to vlog with this camera because the monitor doesn't flip up. It flips out to the side. So it gets really, really distracting. Um, and sometimes you find yourself looking over there instead of at the lens, which is challenging um, no matter what camera you're filming with because you're always trying to see like if you're in, uh, in focus and the thing that you're trying to do is in focus. So that gets a little challenging and I'm definitely not like a camera tech person. Uh, but hopefully you guys really like this. This one also has, um, maybe the audio will be better. Although in some cases when the camera's facing away from me, it might be sound a little muffled because this actually has like an external mic that um, I have like a road mic on top of the camera and it might make the audio a little bit better when I'm facing the camera like this, but a little bit more muffled when I'm doing like a shot that isn't directly facing me. But we'll see. I thought I'd give you guys a little update. I set up my Alexa Auto and I really, really like it. Um, it fits in with the car. It mounts beautifully. Like I was able to tuck the cord away. Um, that makes me really happy. There's a couple things you should know though. If you have it connected, you cannot use your Apple CarPlay because she works through the Bluetooth in your car. So you have to have your Bluetooth connected. Um, that's the one hang up, but it's so nice to be able to do things like this. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 40 degrees. Alexa, add chicken to my shopping list. I added chicken to your shopping list. Alexa, add make the bed to my to-do list. I've put make the bed on your to-do list. Now that I've made you all sufficiently angry with me for putting chicken and beds on your shopping and to-do list, um, <laughs> I will let you go. What sounds really good right now is just a big salad. I have some bacon, um, bacon. I have some chicken baking in my um, oven right now. I think a game changer for any salad um, is adding fresh herbs. I just think you just can't beat 
the flavor adds. So I'm adding like a good handful of parsley. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of mix that in as we go. My favorite is I'm going to add a bunch of dill. I love dill. It's probably my favorite herb. If you have company over and you want to um, impress them or change the game, add some fresh herbs into your salad mix. I'm going to eat my salad, work on editing this, and really leave you with a couple things I'm thinking for 2020 around the channel, or things that maybe you can expect, but you know, life happens. And one promise I've always made is, YouTube will always have to fit in my life. I'll never make my life fit into YouTube. But some of the things I'm hoping to do um, in 2020 with the channel is to bring back at least one monthly plan with me video every single month. Um, incorporate some clean with me videos because an organization based videos and then once a month do like a weekly vlog and time it around like seasons or holidays so that I can incorporate like seasonal DIYs, holiday DIYs, um, little traditions or things that Steven and I are incorporating into our home um, during those times. So those are the kind of things I'm thinking about for the channel. Also still gonna keep like a weekend vlog here and there sprinkled in throughout that content. But if you have other things that you're thinking about, um, other things that you'd like to see me do, go ahead and put them down below because um, I wanna make content that you want. So with that, my friends, I'm going to sign off and take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Um, you just don't know what a difference it'll make for someone. Until next time, bye-bye.